hide everything. All right, guys, we are back in intermediate algorithm scripting, bonfire missing letters. So what are we trying to do here? Essentially, we're trying to run through uh, the string of the alphabet starting in A, ending at Z. And what we want to do is input a string, and we want to know at what point does this string skip the next letter. So if it's A, B, C, E, right, like right here, we want to say, oh, it, we want to return D, because D is what's missing. D is the first letter that's missing. So how do we go about doing that? It's, it's, uh, it's not that hard. Um, in reality, uh, there's probably a couple ways to do it, but um, the way I did it, uh, I just set a variable, I called it alphabet, um, and then I just set it equal to the length of the al alphabet, so A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, K, K, L, M, N, O, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Uh, that looks about right. And then I just split it. Uh, so if you don't remember what split does, it splits it based on what you input here. In this case, we're splitting it every character, so there's no space there. So uh, what else did, uh, did I do? And th I also then took our input string and I split that as well because we're going to compare how we're going to do it is we're going to compare a for loop that's going to take the input of our string and we're going to see if it if that input matches that so if it has an a does the alphabet have an a on that one okay does a b match does b match all the way till we get to the d in this case and so on and so forth so uh we are going to split that on the character then we're just going to have a standard for loop here. Then we're going to say if var i is equal to 0, while well, i is less than str. So we want to do it for the length of the string, not the length of the alphabet. Uh, because the alphabet is the longest, and so what we only need to do it for the size of the string. Plus, plus. Cool. So uh, we're going to have a simple if statement here that's going to compare them. So we're going to say if our current string is not, or a current character is not equal to our alphabet's current character, oops, current character. So if they're not equal to each other, we want to return alphabet. I and we're returning alphabet I because that's the one that's missing. So let's go ahead and run it. I think uh, right here you can see that we're still getting it. So the, the standard cases right here make sense. But we have to do another if statement here because this one doesn't start at A and it needs to return undefined. Same thing with Y and Z. So essentially all we have to do right here is put an if statement above it. This says uh, if, excuse me, this is in the for loop. So an if statement in the for loop above our current if statement that says if uh, str at the zero index. I guess we don't have to do it in the for loop actually. It's not equal to the character a. So saying if it doesn't start in the correct order with at least starting on an a because everything else is it, it, want, it, it wants us to return it undefined it's basically just uh, what they want us to do for me personally I think it should return an A because if it doesn't start with an A it's missing an A and that's where it should start but that's just me so uh, let's go ahead and take this we can oops so we can actually we don't need this in here so let's go ahead and throw it outside the for loop just because I think it's better convention and then we can uh, run it. And again, so this is checking if our current, if the string at the first place is not equal to an A, return undefined, and there we go.
pretty cool. So uh, this is just gonna find the first missing letter. Uh, again, let's just, as always, put comments in our code so that we can look back at this and understand what we're doing and you know just fully cement the concept in our brain. So what are we doing here? Create a string uh, that stores the alphabet. Well, we'll be specific, English alphabet. Split, split alphabet into letter character array. So we're just splitting into an array. Split input string into a character array. Character letter array. You could drop it, leave out the letter. Um, and then our if statement here. If our first letter is not an A, return undefined. And then here, uh, we at this point I don't think we need a, a for loop, but put anything for a for loop. Here we're just going to say if letter don't match for alphabet. And string return uh, current alphabet letter. So that was that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys found this helpful. As always, questions, comments, concerns, anything constructive is appreciated. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.